Okay, welcome back to another video by Pass the GED. This video is really an introduction to a playlist about the three things that you need to do before you take the math GED. Let me take a minute and tell you a little bit about how I've come to, to develop this knowledge about the, the GED. I am actually a GED teacher. I focus mostly on math and science and I've worked with you know, hundreds of people to try to develop their skills so that they can pass the GED test. And over that course of that time, I've sort of learned some, some best practices, if you will, that I'm going to share with you here. And so um, I often get students that come in and they immediately want to take the GED. And I say, well, let's do three things first. And that's what this, um, this video is going to introduce. So the very first thing is to spend some time learning the GED calculator. The calculator is quite unique compared to the calculator on your phone. There are fraction buttons, percent buttons, square, and cube root buttons, which can be a little bit different than what is, again, on your phone. And there's another double error conversion button. Please watch the video that I put together on the calculator to go more in depth and to provide some examples of these. So the second thing is the formula sheet. There is a formula sheet that you can use on all questions of the math test, which is really helpful. There's shape formulas, realizing there's no specific cube formula on there, the different formulas that are on there for the circumference of a circle. There's actually mean and median definitions. Um, I think that you will probably have to use all of the algebra formulas and the simple interest formula is quite unique as well. So again, please look at that uh, video to learn a little bit more about how you can earn, you know, I think two to three points by knowing the formula sheet pretty well. And then the third thing before I would recommend taking the real test is make sure you take a practice test. Um, so this practice test can be to see if you're ready for the real test, and if not, it should hopefully tell you what you need to study. So those are the, those are the three things. Um, hope you do follow these, and good luck on the GED. Okay, those are the three things that you need to do. Know the calculator, know the formula sheet, and take a practice test. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please hit the subscribe button. We do appreciate your support. And uh, find the playlist over here to the right and uh, some of my other videos as well. And good luck on the GED.